Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon. And today is attempt number two to show you guys how to measure carrier frequency. Um, so today is episode number 122, and we're going to talk about how do you use a MDA or a motor drive analyzer 550 from Fluke to measure carrier frequency and or the pulse modulation frequency. Um, thank you for the comment from old fart with a P, um, and helping me understand because I definitely misunderstood what you wanted. So hopefully this is helpful and we're going to go through exactly how you would use an MDA 550 and how you would, um, what settings you need to do and it will give you that carrier frequency and that carrier frequency can be programmed into a drive and um, the drive it's basically how fast we're chopping up that pulse and the faster we chop it up the harder the drive has to work thus generating more heat and not being able to operate in as hot a condition so a lot of times the drive manufacturers want it to be a lower frequency because it'll extend the life of the drive and make it not work as hard but there are times that you need that um, maybe for motor performance or whatnot so if you are changing those settings in your drive and you want to verify that those settings are in fact changing, this MDA 550 will do that for you and let's jump into it. Okay, so if we want to measure carrier frequency, also known as pulse width modulation frequency, or as you can see there, A91 PWM frequency, you can see that it can be set anywhere from Two, let's see if I can do this. Anywhere from 2 kilohertz to 16 kilohertz in 0.1 kilohertz uh, steps, and it's defaulted to 4 kilohertz. I have gotten to that part of the programming on this VFD, and this would be your carrier frequency. So that's what we're going to do real quick. We're going to adjust this. Let's take it to the default at four kilohertz so we're going to take it down to four kilohertz we're going to run the vfd um and then we're going to show you how to measure it on a motor drive analyzer and then go back and adjust it and sh show through there so if we're wanting to measure the pulse width mod pulse pulse width modulation a frequency and or the carrier frequency you can click motor drive analyzer mode you will need to select by going up and down here with an MDA 550 the drive output hit enter and then voltage modulation hit enter and you will need to be in phase to ground not phase to phase and I'll show you that here in a second if I clicked phase to phase and I go next I need to hit zoom two, and you can see there's no um, frequency here, and that's where we're wanting to look at these pulse width modulations and see frequency, but it doesn't have that in the reading, and that's the reading we want. So if we go back and we hit voltage modulation and we go phase to ground, and now we do zoom two, we can see kilohertz, and that's where we're going to see it. So let me go ahead and start up the drive and then I'll show you with what we got it programmed at the four kilohertz and then what we have it programmed. I'll change it to the eight kilohertz and we'll be able to see that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a voiceover so you don't have to hear that drive whine, but it's coming up to speed and you can already see it says 4,000 hertz or four kilohertz, which is what we programmed it to. Now, here in a second, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna adjust it to the eight kilohertz as you can see here i'm doing the up arrow on the vfd to bring it to eight kilohertz and then from there um once i have it programmed and you can do this while the drive is running um if i didn't have the audio turned off in the background you would hear that dramatic shift in the noise and now you can see that it is 7.98 7.9 so almost eight kilohertz which is exactly what we wanted so if you want to if you're programming a VFD drive in the field and you want to confirm that when you've changed that pulse width modulation that it's actually doing it, this is how you can do it with an MDA 550. 
Um, and I'm just reviewing here. You go to output um, of the drive, phase to the ground, how you hook it up, zoom number two. I'll show that here in a second. It shows all the readings, and then you hit zoom two with F2, and you can see your carrier frequency and or pulse width modulation frequency. And I hope this helps. Take care.